It is the return to the ring for a Houston fighter with a near lethal punch. And right now it's the emotions he's been dealing with the past year since one devastating knockout. Three turn. His nickname, <laughs> Slick. His hands are quick. <laughs> but what happened after his last fight hit him as hard as a brick. But the whole time we were fighting, you know, I heard his, I heard his family. I heard his family, they were screaming, go Lulo, go Lulo, that's all they were saying the whole time. So it kind of messed me up a lot by, by me hearing his family cheering him on and then what happened. For nearly a year now, Gabriel has been trying to process what happened in his last fight. In that one, he scored a TKO in the sixth round. Only his opponent never got up. Instead, he was rushed to the hospital where he almost died from a brain injury. I knocked him down, he got back up. I was like, man, this, this kid ain't stand down. <laughs> That opponent, Jesus Lule of Mexico, seen here recovering after emergency surgery, is doing better. And Gabriel says Jesus's team doesn't blame Gabriel for what occurred. I just, I just know what can happen. Sense of guilt. Yeah, it's sense of guilt. You know that. And for months, Gabriel wasn't sure if he'd ever strap on those gloves again. So it's kind of like, kind of like dawned on me, like, man, is this what you want to do? You know what I mean? But I missed, you know, and it's, and it's always been in me since I was a kid. So I had, to, I had to get back in and do what I love to do. Ah, one, two. Ah. And now at GNM Boxing Gym, Gabriel's putting in the work. Ah. After a long layoff, his trainer noticing a different slick. Well, you know, at the end of the day, it's what he's gaining from the layoff. Under. You know, he's more focused. Ah. Right, right, right. He's taking it a little bit more serious. Just, just because you come here and train and do every day, awesome. Like most of us fighters, we still have feelings too, you know? We do know that. And Gabriel Smith is now preparing to fight what's in front of him and not what's behind him. Okay, watch your lean. Don't be too much on that front leg. Get 